Nitro, and they will be moving on into the finals. RG Female have to come up big. They have to win two back-to-back -back now, which is going to be already difficult. They were already struggling to get the first capture themselves on the first map, and now to have to pull off pretty much six back-to-back -back in the next two maps. going to be tough, but we're back into the action here. Five seconds in. And let's see if Nitro can take this into 2-0 or if RG Female are going to take us to that third map. Here we go. Players out of the gates. Once again, it's RG Female playing as the red side. Our blue team is Team Nitro. And starting things off, we've got Visca looking to pick some players off with the glass cannon from range. Not even really needed, though, to be fair. Oh, it'd be the case. But no, a few trades are found in the middle there to bring the battle back at least a little bit in blue ROG Female's favor. But at the end of the day, it's blue once again still Nitro that's going to pick up the flag on the opener. They don't seem to keep it for very long, though, as it's pretty much immediately discarded and sent back to the pedestal. Yeah, Vashi is going to be sitting back there to protect that one again. The Hunter Mines able to come through big at a Ruin side. Veggie's going to fall. And a lot of trades being done, but Ruin actually might have been able to pick up enough frags there to actually take the flag himself and go for the run, but instead going to regroup with the team. Trying to make sure they don't lose track of what's happening. And I believe playing on the tank there, so I was able to take a lot more front and forward fights as long as he doesn't go up against similarly HP players. Marcel that won't be moving in alone. He's got Storm Waffle with him to try and make a push. Although they could have hidden that a little bit better. They could have waited. But regardless, it's now going to open an opportunity on the other side of the map. We will be seeing in a second here both flags that he picked up. Marcel is going to go for a run back through the middle. Storm Waffle's helped out with the support. He picked off an opponent moments ago on the left side on the retreat. There we go. That's what oh, we want to see. That's a good pick right there. One more shot to take him out, but no. Glass Cannon versus Glass Cannon fight. Neither has been able to find that kill so far, but Visca does actually find the trade back, knocks out the sniper from the other side, and has now opened up the floodgates for Marcel to work his way back for towards his base. But unfortunately, we're in that same situation again, where the rest of his teammates are going to have to go across the map and drop ROG Female's carrier. Oh. Oh. Can't just give him free shots like this. Finally, they're able to spot him out and actually dislodge him from this position. His HP on five health. One more shot would be enough. But they've lost the flag, and Nitro have scored yet again, taking four straight and putting themselves now two away from getting through to the winner's match. There's the cap. A lot quicker on the drop this time, as we did see the members from Nitro able to sneak across a lot more quickly and get that drop. Didn't necessarily end up in as much of a stalemate as we had back in the last map there, and we had a bit of a tied situation. But it's once again Team Nitro that's pushed themselves forward early on here in the map. I'm feeling like Aphrodite is actually the, the sniper within their team in CS as well. Had a great fun sense, finally right? figure out the position. I think they finally realized, like, right, we can play from this high ground. So I would imagine, you know, Bosch is not going to have as much free time up there anymore. Maybe he needs to change his position up himself, but he's going to be going back up yet again, looking for Aphrodite to take him out of this fight and really just mitigate the amount of damage he's been able to do because he's putting out so much work at the beginning. Are going to have a little bit of a... Oh, we are going to have a little bit of some nade action going out into the middle here to start things off. A lot of damage going on to the players from ROG Female once again. Two of them already have been knocked out so far in the round. We've got one respawn quickly, but still two more are now down on the ground, and that's going to open up an opportunity for the flag to get stolen by the guys on Nitro, and nearly making it already halfway across the field. This is looking like another dominant performance from Nitro. At least ROG Female is going to have to try and find a way to stop this, but look at how aggressive Nitro are being. And they had one player actually go back to try to take the flag away, but the thing is, four of the players are locked in spawn. They're holding them there. Aphrodite is trying to do something about this, but the flag's about to actually pass. They're going to meet each other, I would imagine, on that side of the map. Nitro is still looking for that elimination, looking to capture this final flag. It looks like they've been able to actually take it away. The RG female, yeah. Mayushka able to actually grab the flag and somehow escape this one. And actually, they might be able to get a capture here. The flag's been returned. Oh, Mayushka's on the run. I think this might be the first point here for ROG Female. This is going to try to stop it, but I don't think that he'll be able to catch up in time here. It's too close to the pedestal now. There's the run, and no one else trying to steal it. For the first time, we've got ROG Female getting a cap for themselves to tie this map up a little bit more. I almost thought that was over, too. Mayushka coming up big. She, I think she was on the other side of the map by herself with four of her teammates locked in at their own spawn and was able to steal away the flag, get away successfully with like three or four people coming directly at her and get the capture. Really well done. It's basically taking advantage on a little bit of over-aggression that we yeah. might have seen from Team Nitro there. Is they've been playing a very straightforward strategy themselves, but to be fair, they've, they've just been winning more of the gunfight, so it's worked out for them. Finally, they get back caps, so they might have to worry a little bit about their strategy going forward and maybe look to leave someone, such as uh, maybe their glass cannon in a more defensive position to watch out for that in the event someone tries to make a push of that nature. But here we go, folks, into the third round of the map here now. Teams aren't going to get themselves onto map point that quickly. We had a dead heat, one to one. Remember, it's first to three caps wins the map. Alucard with four kills. Maybe has two assists in there as well, but two deaths. It's going to be a long range uh, rocket launcher. But look at this, Mishop and Maya going to push directly in. They have Alucard by himself. He's actually able to get the first one. The Hunter Mines come in, and they will be able to at least trade that out one for one. 
and even the healing. See, that's what you do. You heal your teammates as support blue. Gotcha. Don't use it for yourself. I figured it out now. All right, you got it. I'm, gl I'm glad you can learn. <laughs> Next time we play, I better get some healing out of you. The push coming in. Mishapur trying to look for the kill onto Basha, and he's actually going to be potentially going down for this one. Alucard comes in with the respawn, and somehow, I think Bay even got a frag in there. In the meantime, we did see RG Female's flag get stolen away, so it's on the way back to the site. Problem is, as you can see, Bay's going to pick up the flag. Out of the base from the te from Team Nitro, so they're also making a run, and we're once again going to be lost. Go the same way. Oh, they might be going the same way, so we could have ourselves oh, a no. flag duel here. Oh, behind, behind, Bay's got to get around this corner. He's got to run extremely fast. Mich uh, Mishapur might need to come back and actually help out Bay. The t flag has actually been dropped on both sides, and both flags have Market been returned. Return. A little bit unfortunate, but either way, great job by both teams to recover. Starting Wolf will just picking off one of the stragglers from ROG FEMA that was left after the flag ended up getting dropped. He's going to be able to quickly put them on a respawn timer right now. See after Dita here as well, struggling a little bit to try and lock down onto a target. Got the glass cannon into the open, she'll be able to find one against the tank though, she doesn't have the best odds, but all of her teammates rolling in, that is gonna force our member from Nitro further back and gonna be after Dita moving in to finish off the job. Now you get the credit for the actual kill there. On the high ground, that was Alucard, and able to take down a shopper. Alucard might actually come in to seal away the flag, and you have to kind of wonder where the rest of ROG female are. I'm imagining they're on the other side of the field and potentially getting the capture themselves. You see them all grouped up, three players, probably going to meet towards the middle. Mayushka off to the side, who was the big playmaker for the team last time, but can she do it again? I think she has Ruin inside to deal with in the own base. Large group of players moving over towards the other side. Ruin actually left. Mayushka, can she escape this? So she's got to run fast. She's got targets closed in all around her. It's not looking like anyone from the blue side. It's not looking like anyone from the Team Nitro is going to be able to catch up in time. So once again, it's Dalukard first to get himself over towards the base. But now they have to hold. Now they have to wait this out a little bit further. So they have to try and hunt down the flag carrier uh -oh. from the other side. Once again, has it been dropped? No, not yet. That's continuing to make a run. And now we've got other players coming in from ROG FIBA to try and get the drop on this flag. There's the first, gonna sneak in. No spot of the flag, just having to nearly melt down that glass can, and he's able to return the favor just in the nick of time. And Dalukard holding his own right now, making sure that he keeps the flag in check and that this round continues forward well into the favor of Team Nitro. The problem is, because they had so many players playing defensively here, Yes, they get the wipe on RG female, but to get across the map in time, they're gonna be respawned back in. So it's gonna be them now on the attack, trying to finish this one off, trying to get that return as RG female get the respawns back in. Actually drop the flag here. Marcel's been able to come in. He gets the return as well. Oh, well, the timing on that, as we do end up seeing it work out pretty much perfectly for our blue team, perfectly for Team Nitro. So after losing their first cap, they do swing it back very quickly and are now able to claim a second round of themselves, putting them not only on map point once again, but putting them now on series point to push forward into the grand finals here today. And more importantly, getting themselves one step closer to potentially get an NVIDIA shield and getting immortalized within the game. Not sure how they're being immortalized, but we were we kind of kind of got teased it. It was gonna be something that's big. True, yeah. It was gonna be something big. That's that's what we got told. Something big, something cool, I think is what they told yeah, us as well. Of course. Yeah. Obviously, still have another game to come up before they can get there. Another match, which will be a best of five, if I'm not mistaken. We'll be doing best of threes all the way up to that. But Nitro, they're on match point. They're up two to one currently. And it's pretty much all pressure on RG Female now. Here we go. Players once again out of the gates, into the arena. And let us see if RG Female can piece it back together or they are going to fall apart. And we will see Team Nitro instead push forward further into this tournament right now. Right, sneaking in, actually getting a lot of damage done. She goes relatively unnoticed. The problem is, kills are not meeting up with it. Sturmoff was going to be trying to do a lot of damage himself, but no, it doesn't end up going the direction he would have hoped. He gets knocked, he gets knocked out entirely. Walked into the Hunter Mines that were like mm. right next to her too. A little unfortunate, but Dalakard able to pick up the flag in a second. Gets a great rocket launcher. Kyopra Dita needs to turn around, around and get this one, but no, he gets a second. Dalakard might be just all they need here to finish off this round. Blue flag returned. Have to see is the flag for the blue team was getting stolen away for a second. So it was actually like Dalakar was gonna stick around for a few moments extra to see if he could just Red drop the flag on the way. The flag. the flag is gonna be stolen once again though from blue team's base and it's looking like this time it might make its way a little bit further out. However, the problem is that player from RG Female, she has virtually no support on the way out. So yeah, it's no surprise that she gets dropped relatively quickly. There's the return and there's the cap. So it's Team Nitro to take our opening match, ladies and gentlemen. They will win it out here. Three to one is a final lap score and two to nothing as the overall series score. Moving them forward into the grand finals and sending ROG Female into our third place match a little bit later on. And well done by them. Great teamwork overall. You saw Dalakar just kind of say, all right, well, I'm tired of you guys having all the attention. I want to take this game myself. The last two points they scored were off the back of him and he pretty much single-handedly penetrated the defense that ROG Female put up on their own base. But well done to them. And of course, both teams will still have more matches to come up later on. And Nitro, gotta be quite proud of them. You know, they had a, a pretty solid run. I think it was like six to one.